So it's, it's really great to be here at the University of Washington. Uh, the UW is a real visionary in this area. We've got the Kidney Research Institute, the Division of Nephrology, the Institute for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine, and all three of these organizations are coming together to attack kidney disease in a new way. So what we're doing in this lab is really uh, trying to get to that aha moment where we see an advance that's gonna fundamentally change how we practice kidney medicine. What we've done here is to take cells from a patient, turn them back to a very early stage of development, and then guide them into becoming new kidney tissue, which matches up with the patient perfectly. So this is really a, a big change in human history in our ability to create new tissues. And it's going on not just for the kidney, but also for many other organs. The vast majority of patients won't get a transplant this year. And even if they get that transplant, that transplant may be rejected by their body because it's coming from somebody else. The advantage of the approach that we're trying to develop is that because it uses the patient's own cells and because these tissues can be produced in the laboratory, we could make kidney tissue on demand that would be 100% immunocompatible with their own bodies. And we're hoping that this new stem cell based technology will help close, close that gap, uh, either by providing new organs for the patients from their own cells, or by supplementing the ability of dialysis and perform functions of the kidney that are more complex than a machine can handle with our current technology. And furthermore, what's really remarkable is we use this new gene editing technique and created not just healthy kidneys in a dish, but we were able to recreate kidney disease in a dish. And we did this for a couple different kidney diseases. This is important because we don't understand how all the individual kidney diseases actually work. And we need to understand that if we're going to develop treatments that address the early stages of this disease and not just end stage renal disease. So what we can do now is create disease in a dish models and test out not just one or two drugs, but thousands of drugs all at the same time and see whether they can reverse the effects of the disease in the dish and then later pick the best ones and try them out in patients. Without the funds from the National Kidney Foundation, we would not be where we are today. It was, it was really critical for getting this research off the ground and being able to take the stem cells, turn them into kidney cells, and create this new kind of hope for, for patients. And by working on these approaches now and creating new areas of care that are going to have a big long-term impact, we can hope to see results that are going to really change the way medicine happens and improve the lives of millions of patients. <laughs>